My name is Vahid Chitos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for taking this time out of your busy schedule and being with us this morning. Uh, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself for everybody. Let, let us know where you're coming in from. Okay, cool. So I'm actually here in Washington, D.C. You can see the pen. The pen is actually right there if you look at my finger. You see that? I saw it. Yeah. I saw so I'm in Washington, D.C. here, uh, my apartment. And uh, I'm a digital marketer. Uh, that's what I do for a living. I work with uh, real estate uh, individuals. I help them with their branding and content development. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, just a little bit about my story personally. Yeah. Done deal. Let's dive into Thinking Go Rich, Napoleon okay. Hill. When did you start? How did you start? Oh, man. I read this book back in 2000. I first read this book in 2013. That was the first time that I read this book. And talk about a life-changing book. I actually have mine right here in front of me, too. There you go. So that's a good that's, one. That's, that's, version. Yeah, I have, I have the, smaller, the smaller version of this, the 21st century. And, man, this book just completely changed how I think about life, how I thought about business, just how I thought about living in general. You know, for me personally, I mean, do you want me to jump into, like, some of my favorite parts? I want to know the top two principles. I want to know the top two principles that you're utilizing today okay. in your okay. business. So the top two principles, the first one for me is actually the first one in the book, which is desire, right? The starting point to all achievement. I think that is absolutely crucial because ultimately I think that is aligned with self-awareness, right? Because you got to know what you want in life and you got to know what you want with your business, right? And ultimately, if you don't have that desire to achieve something great with your business or with your personal relationships, with your fitness, with your health, whatever it is, right? If you don't have the actual desire to improve it, then you're not going to take the steps to actually meet those goals. You know, one of my favorite saying goes, if you need inspiration to do it, <laughs> don't do it at all, right? So I think it's very, very important to, to, to really have self-awareness and know what it is that you actually want because I believe a lot of people are misguided by the things other people flash in front of them, right? So it's really important to be true to yourself and ask yourself the question, what is it that truly makes me happy, right? It may not be a million dollars. Everyone's like, I want to be a millionaire, right? It might just be, it may gain $250,000 and maybe living in another country instead of living in the United States, right? So I think that desire, okay, what do I want is the first thing someone needs to answer before they even start trying to achieve any sort of goal. So that's the first and most impressive principle, in my opinion. What do you think? What do you think of that principle? Well, listen, without burning desire, nothing goes on. And I do believe that the principles in the book, if you follow it in order, the performance of them will increase over a span of period of time. The reason why burning desire or thoughts or things and burning desire are in, in the beginning of the book is because if you don't have the burning desire, when the, when the going gets tough, if you don't have your burning desire set, and it's not like, you know, you, you, you really are going to go for it, you really want it, you want this, then what ends up happening is a lot of people could distract you. The shining object could distract you. A family member, a negative thing, a, a setback, a temporary defeat yes. could definitely set you back if you don't have your burning desire together. Also, I follow up with that with just saying, you know, you definitely got to write it down so you can remind yourself if you're at a peak state of mindset and you wrote these things down yeah. and then now you can review it, definitely it just brings those emotions back and I think it helps a lot. What's number two for you? Number two for me, I am going to read it out of the book. So number two is going to be persistence. And I know that may sound cliche to a lot of people, but I think there's a lot of people out there who aren't necessarily the brightest minds in the world that are extremely successful. And they're not successful, again, because they're so smart. They're just successful because they're willing to take more beating than everybody else is. Because ultimately, there isn't, I personally, I don't know about you, I personally have not met one person that has had a smooth sell road to success. Not one that person. That never happened. Not one person, right? It's like there are these fairy tale so stories where people think mastery just happens overnight. And I think persistence is 
probably 80% of the game. And then the other 20% is like actually knowing what you're doing, mastering your craft and so forth on. But I think most people are just way too soft and give up way too soon, right? If you want to have this wonderful thing in your life, I think it only makes sense to understand that there's going to be a massive amount of sacrifice in order to reach that thing, right? Like you want to have a six pack, like, I, why don't I have a six pack? Because Hanio loves eating donuts, right? I'm not sacrificing enough in order for me to get that six pack. And I don't think people understand that it's really, 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 really crucial for you to set your mind on your goal and for you to really tell yourself, until I achieve this goal, until this is done, I am not going to give up. It's, it's literally that, you know, die trying mentality that, every single person that I know that is extremely successful, every single one of them have that trait. Not one of them have the trait where, you know, they, they pick something, it doesn't go well, and then they say, okay, I'm done with this. It's, it's over now. I haven't made my $100,000 in 30 days. I, I quit. I give up, right? So I think persistence is crucial. You need to be able to get hit in the head over and over because business is not, it's not easy. Business is not easy. Life is not easy. You can't expect it to be easy. Therefore, it's really, really important for you to have a realistic expectation of how long things take in order for you to accomplish something great. And you have to mix that with that persistence. I agree with that 100%. If you had to tell people that have not read the book or they don't know that we're talking about thinking, go rich. My question to you is this. Why should somebody go pick up, spend eight bucks, nine bucks, 10 bucks, whatever the cost of the book is these days, you can get a PDF file or you can get, the, get it on YouTube for free. But if you want the physical book, you got to pay 10, 20 bucks. Why should someone invest 10, 20 bucks in purchasing this book? Why should they read it? I mean, I think it's a, it's a very simple answer, man. You know, what is, what, is your, what is your happiness worth to you? Yeah, I think that's the ultimate question people need to ask themselves. Is $12 too much for you to pay to get closer? to you being as happy as you want to be, to you getting closer to whatever that end goal you want to have in life is? You know, I think that's a real question to ask. $13, $9, what is that? <laughs> what is that? There are people who pay hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like three copies. Hundreds of thousands of dollars for coaches to do mentoring for them. I pay thousands of dollars for my mentor. So what is, what is 10 bucks? What's, what's $10? You, you're going to go out, spend that on a Chipotle, man, right? What that, what that Chipotle is going to do for you is this quick, quick gratification. Uh, what's the word? Grat gratification. I can't say that word for my life. Gratification is going to give you this quick gratification. Whereas this $13 is an investment into your greater future. It's an investment into your mindset. Right? That Chipotle, you can get it anytime. This knowledge here is going to stick with you for life. So I think if people are looking for a reason why they should go pick up this book is, do you want to accomplish your goal? I mean, it's, it's, it's as simple as that. Do you want to accomplish your goals and do you want to have the mindset that is going to take you to get there? And if you're not willing to spend $13, nine bucks on a book, then do you actually want to be successful? I love it. I love it. Listen, I want to thank you so much for taking this time and being with us and sharing with us. I, I always love it how I see a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of individuals, especially in the marketing world like yourself, being successful and just promoting the book and the knowledge and the concept that they got from the book that actually helped them in their business. And if you're one of those people that you're starting off, you know, brand new, you want to leave your nine to five job, or you just want to have a side gig or just have an extra income going on, I highly recommend the book because it helped. It has helped a lot of people get to where they want to go, and hopefully it will do the same for you. Listen, I want to thank you so much for taking this time from your busy schedule and being with us. Hopefully we can collaborate on a couple of projects, brother. I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, man. Have a good one. Take care, guys. You got it. Thank Bye. you later. Bye-bye.